So, whether it's side control or whether it's half guard, it doesn't matter, it's exactly the same. Got this. So, I'm here like this, Buffett's trying to crush my head. So, if I do this, yeah, that knee's coming up deep, and it's, it's only going to get worse from here, he's going to definitely mount me, right? So, my job is to put this elbow inside the leg, and I have to have good elbow discipline with it, right? Because once my elbow's in there, if he tries to mount, I have the ability to take his bat, right? He pushes my leg down, he starts mounting. I can't do it yet. I have to wait for his knee to hit the floor. Once his knee hits the floor, now there's a seesaw, yeah? Now once my knee touches his knee, yeah, don't go too floppy. Once my knee touches his knee, I don't use my arm anymore. I use my leg to just pinch it to there, right? Once I pinch it, usually I'll use his foot on the inside there a little bit. Like that, so he doesn't hide his foot up his butt, all right? Because if he hides his foot up his butt, then he can do hip drop pass and this prevents it. So I'm here, use my toes and my foot, and I'm gonna put the weight on my head. I'm using my shoulder to start moving his body, so I can start moving my elbow under. I can go here, I can start climbing on my back, or if he starts pushing into me, grab my head tiny, like this. If he starts pushing into my head, then I can send him over. There. All right. So, right. So, same as um, side control is the same. So, I'm here like this. Again, he's got his ideal side control, which is neat. My arm's on the outside. That's what he wants. My job, lift my hips, put my elbow inside. Why? Because if I don't, he's got a clear path to mount. He's already got half of his mount. Yeah, he'll just slide all the way through the mount. Boom, done. Right. So my job here is to ruin his mount. This is half mount. This leg here. It's half of a mount. In fact, most of his body is a mount. It's only that part of his body that's not. So my job is to ruin that by lifting my hips, putting my elbow inside. Got that. Now that my elbow is inside, now I'm somewhat protected from the mount. Yeah. So as he, as he starts sliding his knee across, I'll usually use my knee. Keep going, get him out. That's super annoying. Right? Exactly, right? So he's he's gonna have to make a lot of space and do a lot of work. And the more space he gives me, the better. Right? So as he gets frustrated and pushes harder with that knee, that's what gives me the timing to do this. Yeah, right? And it's because the person, the person on top, their hips are making a seesaw. He's got one leg down, yeah? He's got part of the, my knee's stuffed at the moment, so I can't do that well. So one knee is deep, the other one's up, yeah? As he pushes, all his effort is on that right leg, trying to get to the mount. And the harder he pushes, the more weight goes across my center line to that knee. Yeah, because when I'm lying on my back, my body is a cylinder. Yeah, so he's got a triangle like this above the cylinder. So that triangle is going to tip. He starts with this triangle here. Yeah, with one knee in my armpit. I ruined that, but it's still there. He's still at the same triangle. As he pushes that across, my job is to tip it. Just as that knee touches the floor, yeah, because even here, he's still got weight on that side. Once he pushes hard onto that knee, this side is going to get lighter. So that's where the time is important. As he pushes his knee down, bang, that's the time for me to nail or escape on that side because it's the lightest this leg of his is going to get. Yeah, I block it, slide the knee under. Once I get here, I use my knee to move his leg across. I pinch, get my shoulders out. Then I can do whatever I'm going to do with my feet around this way, wrestle up and go the other way and turn them under. Yeah? Cool?